welcome, welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your daily message, September 7th, 2021. Starting off from left to right, your first card here is the Page of Pentacles. And the universe is telling you to be prepared to receive some information or news. And this is going to be good news. It's good news about finances. You could be hearing that maybe you're going to be getting an inheritance. Some of you, it could be a settlement. Some of you, it could be unexpected money, a windfall maybe coming in. Uh, receiving something that's going to help you in the financial part of your day today. Now, also you could be considering have enhancing and increasing your salary, your income at your place of employment. Some of you could be uh, taking an online course. Some of you may be going actually back to school to receive a credit or get your master's degree or something. It could be a new form of interest that maybe you're taking up and you want to move towards that's going to enhance you. Some of you could be opening a small business or a business that's going to give you a subsidiary income, which again will enhance and increase your income for your, you know, in the financial part of your life. You know, you could be, um, you know, if you're doing this, know that it's a good time to do this. It could be successful for you. You could be receiving information that's legal that says, hey, you've got that settlement coming in or you're, you're come in and see me today. You need to sign papers to uh, receive some money that's been left to you in some sort of manner. It's always good news about finances. <clears throat> you could be doing your research right now, looking into something new that you might be considering doing, something new, maybe a new form of study for a new business. And you could be doing that research online, finding out what's going to benefit you to your greater good financially. It's all about materialism when this card shows up, but it's good news about materialism. Coming in with your next card, you've been given the fox. And the fox says... I want, you know, they want you to think on your feet. Um, you know, think about your move, where you're going to go, what it is you're going to do, and plan it. The fox often lays in his lair under the bushes during the light of day so he doesn't cast his shadow and he doesn't get noticed. He comes out after dark usually and he's able to go after what it is he needs. He goes after that goal, goes after that, you know, his meal, whatever the case is, but he's crafty. So this also pertains to keeping your eyes open, thinking on your feet and being able to look over your shoulder because there could be some sneaky energy around you. Someone could be skulking around, spying on you, checking on you uh, from the shadows, but it could also be someone within your circle. If you need to keep things privately, under lock, private and under lock and key from prying eyes and hands, then now's the time to think on your feet and do that. Don't let your guard down. It's saying that you need to think about being cautious about others. It could be envious or sneaking around, wanting what you have, wanting <clears throat> and curious about what you're doing, checking in on you. But it is sneaky energy, okay? It's not energy that you need to invite in. So like this fox, who waits at that perfect time to pounce and go after what he wants. I need you to protect yourself today. You know, maybe it's at your place of work. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the gossip in the coffee room today. Okay, don't don't be dragged in because misery loves company and people love to drag us into their drama because it, it gives them, uh, you know, confirmation that what they're thinking and doing, even if it's you know, not good behavior, that if we, they con us into getting involved in it, then it's acceptable. So think on your feet, keep your eyes open, don't allow yourself to get dragged into other people's drama today either. Now you have the vulture spirit coming in. And the vulture spirit talks about, if we know anything about the vulture, the vulture eats all the waste out on the land, okay, the roadkill. Uh, you know, they go after what's already laying there. And, you know, in their own way, they're cleaning up the environment and also sustaining their own well-being in life. So, like the vulture, I want you to think about not wasting time, you know, not wasting energy, not wasting material things today. So, 
think about recycling and reusing. You know, don't buy new shoes unless the old ones are worn out or uh, don't fix it if it isn't broken, right? So, the, you know, the energy here today is stepping up and realizing that you can recycle things. It's, you can recycle energy. You can recycle, you know, your thoughts and way you've, the way you've been thinking. You can look back on what was, was helping you exceed and succeed from your past behavior, past activity, whatever you were doing, and tap into that. It's okay to go back and say, you know what, I, I did this a year ago with this particular situation and it was successful. So recycle it, bring it back into the now if it's something that is, you know, that you can use. Um, I think, you know, you're, some of you are going to be uh, taking care of business at home. You're going to be restocking the leftovers. You're going to be, I see people packaging them up in plastic containers or glass containers in their fridge, being careful of what they've got. We've, we're into the recycle part of our life now. Most countries are taking that option, taking that responsible uh, responsibility to <clears throat> not throw everything out, uh, you know, recycle it, take it to goodwill, uh, take it to, you know, the food bank, whatever the case is, don't waste, okay, because, you know, we, we've all been taught that, not to waste anything, and <clears throat> way back in our ancestry, I mean, our grandparents taught us that, uh, most of our parents taught us that, that we need to protect what we have and not throw it out and waste it. So we're all guilty of that. Uh, you know, we overpurchase, we overbuy, things lose there. Uh, we stockpile and then we go to reach for it and it's outdated. So <clears throat> we have to be conscientious about this. So today is about not wasting anything. And that includes not wasting your time. So <clears throat> today, use your, your time wisely. Think on your feet here. Keep your eyes open to anybody who could be not honest with you today. They may have ulterior motives today. They may be watching you because they envy you. Uh, be careful of that sneaky energy. But all in all today, I do see that you're going to be hear good, hearing good news about the material part of your life, about finances and money that's going to come in and it's going to help enhance your day. Now, your final card here is letting go. <clears throat> now, letting go is about letting go of past energy, letting go of negative thoughts, letting go of what dragged you down. Okay, so it says what, if anything, can be done to let go of what is standing in your way. Okay, so if something's stopping you from going forward in a positive direction, do your research, find out why this is happening. Uh, you know, Again, think on your feet today. Don't allow uh, anybody else's drama to come in and put a halt, put a stop, put the brakes on what you're doing today. You need to be able to move forward in a progressive, positive direction. I do think that you can do this, but we often start to obsess, reflect, or uh, be, you know, um, think about the past. And and it's, un and it's not unusual for us to think about the past and the sad part of our lives. It seems to be indelible. It seems to be, you know, it penetrates us on, on a heart chakra level. And when we think about things that, are, that caused us emotional uh, problems and sadness, it held us back. Think about that time when this occurrence happened to you. Think about when that happened. And then you'll see, where were you going? Were you progressing? Were you happy? Were you able to fulfill your, your, your needs? Were you able to succeed at what you wanted to do towards your goals? Likely no. So this is about letting go of residual past energy, letting go of those negative thoughts, letting go of relationships. <clears throat> Maybe you have to let go of a friendship. Maybe there's a colleague around you. Maybe someone around you, you have found that they were deceptive. They were sneaking around behind your back and you didn't like that. Okay. And also I think of the vulture spirit, you know, not wasting anything, but also, you know, the vulture goes after, you know, go goes in for the kill, even though the kill already be gone been gone so someone could be sneaking around you wanting to pick up on your ideas today wanting to feed off of your energy that they see success happening but they haven't been invited in to do that so don't allow anybody to waste your time doing this 
Okay, so let go, let go of any of that residual energy, let go of anything that's holding you back. I mean, I like to liken this let go card to the Queen of Swords. She has that ability to clean house. And I think today's going to be an important day today. You're going to be protecting your assets. You're going to be protecting what's important to you. So don't be afraid of that. Let go of any negative energy, any negative relationships that are holding you back today. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic outcome to this day. And always remember to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Many blessings and much love. Music